10 steps to start your business. I give it a, uh, a 10, a 10, 10. Gentlemen. That's right, YouTube family, 10, 10, 10 ways to help you start your business. This is Alpha Tier Crawford with Finance Up. Welcome back to the channel and I hope all is well. My channel is all about helping you reach financial independence, rather through stocks, real estate, credit card arbitrage, multiple streams of income, or starting and growing a business. Again, thanks for your continued support. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Again, if you are interested in becoming financially independent, please check out my many videos here on this channel on how you can become financially free. Again, this is Alpha Tier Crawford with Finance Up. You know how we do. Let's share the screen and let's go. Number one, conduct market research. Market research will tell you if there's an opportunity to turn your idea into a successful business. It's a way to gather information about potential customers and businesses already operating in your area. Use that information to find a competitive advantage for your business. Market research blends consumer behavior and economic trends to confirm and improve your business idea. It is crucial to understand your consumer base from the outset. Market research lets you reduce risk even while your business is still just a gleam in your eye. Gather demographic information to better understand opportunities and limitations for gaining customers. This could include population data on age, wealth, family, interests, or anything else that's relevant for your business. Number two, write your business plan. Your business plan is the foundation of your business. It's a roadmap for how to structure, run, and grow your new business. You will use it to convince other people that working with you or investing in your company is a smart choice. A good business plan guides you through each stage of starting and managing your business. It's a way to think through the key elements of your business. A business plan can help you get funding or bring on new investors or partners. Investors want to feel confident that they will see a return on their investment. Number three, funding your business. Your business plan will help you figure out how much money you need to start your business. If you do not have the amount on hand, you will need to either raise or borrow the capital. Fortunately, there are more ways than ever to find the working capital you need. Every business has different needs and no financial solution is one size fits all. Your personal financial situation and vision for your business will shape the financial future for your business. Once you know how much working capital or funding you need, it's time to figure out how to get it. Funding options include self-funding, friends and family, traditional banks, credit unions, community banks, SBA, and private and hard money lenders. Number four, pick your business location. Your business location is one of the most important decisions you will make. Whether you're setting up a brick and mortar business or launching an online store, the choices you make could affect your taxes, legal requirements, and revenue. Your business location determines the taxes, zoning laws, and regulations your business would be subject to. You will need to make a strategic decision about which state, city, and neighborhood you choose to start your business in. You will need to register your business, pay taxes, and get licenses and permits in the place you choose to locate your business. In addition, you should consider the costs, benefits, and restrictions of different government agencies that govern your business location. Number five, choose your business structure. The legal structure you choose for your business will impact your business registration requirements, how much you pay in taxes, and your personal liability. The business structure you choose influences everything from day-to-day -day operations to taxes and how much your personal assets are at risk. You should choose a business structure that gives you the right balance of legal protection and benefits. The different kinds of business structures can include sole proprietorships, partnerships, 
limited liability companies, LLCs, corporations, C Corp, S Corp, B Corp, and nonprofit. Number six, choose your business name. It's not easy to pick the perfect name. You want one that reflects your brand and captures your spirit. You will also want to make sure your business name is not already being used by someone else. You can find the right business name with creativity and market research. Once you settle on a name you like, you need to protect it. There are four different ways to register your business name. Each way of registering your name serves a different purpose, and some may be legally required depending on your business structure and location. One, entity name protects you on a state level. Two, trademark protects you on a federal level. Three, doing business as DBA does not give legal protection, but might be required legally. And four, domain name protects your business website address. Each of these registrations are legally independent. Most small businesses try to use the same name for each kind of registration, but you are not normally required to. Number seven, register your business. Once you have picked the perfect business name, it's time to make it legal and protect your brand. If you're doing business under a name different than your own, you will need to register with the federal government or maybe your state government too. Your location and business structure determines how you will register your business. Determine those factors first and registration becomes straightforward. For most small businesses, registering your business is as simple as registering your business name with state and local governments. In some cases, you do not need to register at all. If you conduct business as yourself using your legal name, you won't need to register anywhere. But remember, if you do not register your business, you could miss out on personal liability protection, legal benefits, and tax benefits. Number eight, get federal and state tax identification numbers. You will use your employer identification number, your EIN, for important steps to start and grow your business, like opening a bank account and paying taxes. Your state tax ID and federal tax ID numbers, known as an employer identification number, EIN, work like a personal social security number, but for your business. They let your small business pay state and federal taxes. So again, your employer identification number, EIN, is your federal tax ID. You need it to pay federal taxes, hire employees, open a bank account, and apply for business licenses and permits. It's free to apply for an EIN at irs.gov, and you should do it right after you register your business. Last, the need for a state tax ID number ties directly to whether your business must pay state taxes. Number nine, apply for licenses and permits. Keep your business running smoothly by staying legally compliant. The licenses and permits you need for your business will vary by industry, state, location, and other factors. Most small businesses need a combination of licenses and permits from both federal and state agencies. The requirements and fees vary based on your business activities, locations, and government rules. You will need to get a federal license or permit if your business activities are regulated by a federal agency and a state license or permit if your business activities are regulated by a state agency. Requirements and fees depend on your business activity and the agency issuing the license or permit it's best to check with the issuing agency for details on your business license cost. Number 10, open a business bank account. A small business checking account can help you pay business expenses, handle legal, tax, and day-to-day -day issues. The good news is it's easy to set one up if you have the right registrations and paperwork ready. Open a business account when you are ready to start accepting or spending money as your business. A business bank account helps you stay legally compliant and protected. It also provides benefits to your customers and employees. Common business accounts include a checking account, savings account, credit card account, and or merchant services account. 
Merchant Services account allow you to accept credit and debit card transactions from your customers. There you have it, YouTube family. Ten, 10 ways to help you start your business. This is Finance Up with Alpha Tier Croft Board. I hope this information helps someone. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for your continued support. Until the next video, you guys take care. And I will talk to you soon.